Hey folks, I'm Chris with M7 Metalworks. Um, gonna do a clear pipe today, so um, got some stuff here that uh, I'm gonna kind of go over and then I'll just kind of explain what it is I'm gonna do. So if you watched my um, fire pot build, so here's the fire pot that I've built. Okay, and so this here is gonna go on the base of it. I was gonna use this as a vent and I'll kind of explain that as I go along probably and a little more depth, but uh, why don't you come on over here. Pieces of pipe at Napa, uh, just 24 inches of pipe, and I just asked them to cut six inches off the 40, uh, 24 inches. Um, this is a three inch exhaust pipe, and the reason I got three inch is because if you look at my blower, it's a three inch. So um, the two will match up well. I'll get the maximum amount of air that I can get with that three inch pipe. Um, I did get a bit of flexible. All I'm trying to do is to get this cope on the pipe just a little bit better so that I don't have to bridge that gap with the MIG welder um, so much. So let's get doing that. I'm gonna freehand this because it's not super critical. All right, so uh, took a little bit more off the center, getting quite a bit closer on the sides, and now I feel like I can bridge that gap pretty easily. Take a look at that. And so now the next thing I want to do is look at cutting this out. Dropped out. Okay, so here's a picture of the um, inside of the pipe. So there's my hole, and uh, it gives you an idea of what I'm looking at there. So I've got good clearance, and so now we're going to MIG it up. Okay, okay guys, I'm back. Um, getting ready to weld this up. I've got it centered on the hole that I just cut out. And uh, so now I'm going to tack it in place with the MIG welder and um, get going here on this. I'm using the uh, MIG 2400 um, from HTP. Uh, Hungar Hungarian built MIG welder. Works awesome. Uh, I don't know if I've got my settings right. I've got my wire speed at 4. I've got my um, primary um, amperage at 2 and my secondary at 4. So a 424 is how I would call that. And uh, we'll see if we need to make any adjustments. Right now, I'll just get a quick tack on there. Okay, so right here, as you can see, I'm going to weld this coped section, and you see my gap there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to build my weld on the bottom, and then uh, on top of that weld, I'll come back and I'll, I'll build it up on top of that just to bridge that gap. So it uh, shouldn't be too hard with the MIG welder. Okay, so I've got my circle marked, okay, and that's just the pipe diameter. And so I'm gonna try to just kinda cut a circle, and I'm gonna freehand it, because again, my MIG welder will take up the difference. And uh, see if I can't get that pipe to slide right in there or, or come close to it with as little as gr of grinding as possible. So we'll do that now. Up. Having some technical difficulties. Are you still recording? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I gotta turn on the on the uh, piece of equipment, huh? All right, here we go. Take two. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna mess with that. I think that's perfect. I'll clean this up just a little bit and then I'll run a MIG weld right on the inside of that. We'll call that good. Okay, so welded inside the pipe. Nothing fancy. Okay, so if you would, um, draw in here. And so you see the gap here. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the MIG welder and I'm just gonna fill that little channel there with a nice MIG weld. Should be no big deal. Um, and then that fire pot's pretty much done other than getting a vent in. And I think I'm gonna do that before I weld this in place. And I'll tell you why in just a few minutes. Well, the depth is the same on all four edges, okay? So that way I'm level in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tape across the inside of this, and that's gonna allow me to flip this over and be able to mark those areas where this is on the inside of that. And then I'll put some stays on the inside, well, some stays on the inside so that when I sit this thing down, it goes into that um, same place every time. So I think you'll, it's a little confusing, but I think you'll understand here um, as I get going. Okay guys, so you can see I've put some, just some duct tape in there and that's just to hold that plate in, like I said. And now what I'm gonna do, I'll flip it over and hope I don't get too much movement in that. So you see the space now, we've got approximately, let's see, we've got about right at one inch. So when I put my other plate on here, that's that's welded to my twir pipe coming off of there. That's gonna create a one inch chamber here that'll allow that air to kind of fill up so that that three inch pipe will be here, but the air will still be getting over here. It won't just be going through that three inch pipe. So that's gonna be a real benefit to me when I'm looking at the size of my fire pot. So basically what I need to do now is I need to weld this shelf in place. And that's what I'll do now.